Podcast. What's up, good people? Y'all already know what this is. If you don't, then let me be the first one to let you know. It's your boy Gato, Anime and Smoke, you dig? I think I finally found out exactly what is my favorite anime genre. That I'm just now realizing exactly what I like. But then, before you know it, I found my match. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go on that journey. I can't wait to go through this with y'all. Y'all ready? Let's do it. My journey began with Dragon Ball. See, back then, it wasn't just a show. It was an event. You know what I'm saying? It was like it was like a serious thing. It was a big deal when it came on. I mean, like everyone in the hood would gather at my auntie's house. You know, she was the one. That was the place with the cable. You know what I'm saying? So, whenever it came on, everybody knew on time when it started. So it would be packed. And you better make sure you got your seats and everything. And you know, fortunately for me, it's my auntie's crib, so I would sliver my way. Through. The whole block would gather there, right? Easily my favorite back then. But as the series dragged on, in fact, you know, I found myself craving something new. That's when I got deep into Digimon and Pokemon. Now I'm not sure what genre that was or what genre that still is. Thing now, so we could do that, right? All right. Anyway, I was hooked. I was hooked. I was strong. I was heavy into it, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, and then there was Yu-Gi-Oh! Ah, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! in the mix. Oh, I was drunk off of those battles, boy. I was drunk off of those battles. But after a while, the battle started to feel repetitive. I wanted something more serious, something with a, a darker edge, you know? That was my first genre shift. Discovering serious anime. I know you're in here. Even when you're hiding, I can feel your presence. Don't dare mistake my patience for cowardice. <laughs> this was when I came across Van Helsing. Man, that show blew me away. You know, that it was so great to me. You know, the concept, the style, the gothic world they created. It was something different, you know? Yeah, it was very different. It was something with real weight behind it. Around the same time, I discovered Akira. Akira. Ooh, and that was a game changer. Jesus Christ. The animation, the atmosphere, the rawness of it, you know, it felt like, ah, uh, it, it just left the mark, you know? And that's when I realized that anime could be so much more than just battles and power ups, you know? The Golden Age of Adventure. One Piece and Battle. Man. Eventually, I found my way back to the mix of seriousness and adventure. Enter One Piece Boy. Ah, yeah, all time favorite anime till this day. I also dove into Naruto, which quickly became another favorite. Both shows balanced action with deep storylines and character development, and they kept me glued for a long time. But like before, I started getting bored, feeling like I'd seen it all. Time to switch. The search for something new. The dark and mysterious. I started exploring again. Trying out shows like Seven Deadly Sins, which had its moments, but I started to tire of the same tropes. Then came Promise Neverland. A place for children without parents. We may not be linked by blood, but we're still family. This loving house was my home. Ooh. And man, that hit differently. That show was dark, sad as fuck, and so full of tension that it left me speechless. Bro. You feel me? It left me speechless. No cap. I can't even lie. You understand what I'm saying? But from there, 
I found Hunter X Hunter. And let me just say, that was a masterpiece. Wow. Well, that was a masterpiece. That was just beautiful, you know? It had everything I could have wanted in an anime. Complex characters, you know, emotional stakes, top tier storytelling. Jeez. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Finding Fresh Blood, the new age of anime. After that, I wanted something fresh. Feel me? I stumbled upon My Hero Academia and Demon Slayer. Oh, Demon Slayer in particular became a top favorite for me. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Oh my goodness. Every episode was a work of art. Oh my God. It was just, oh my God. I, I, I thought, oh, that was just insane. You know what I'm saying? The animation fight scenes, the emotion. It was all on another level, you feel me? But even with those, I felt like something was still missing. The discovery of my final favorite genre. Isekai. Ooh. I don't remember exactly when, but I got really desperate for more anime that felt unique, you know? That's when I found Overlord. Everything changed. Ooh. It had that otherworldly, you know, element I didn't even know I needed. It was after Overlord that I, I realized the genre I've been searching for had a name. Isekai. Long have I waited for you, Isekai. Since then, I've been on a mission. Binging every Isekai anime I can find. And I'm loving every minute of it. This is the genre that speaks to me now, you know? Worlds full of possibilities, characters transported into new lives, where anything can happen. I think I finally found my home in anime with Isika. And I'm curious, do others feel the same? What was your anime journey like, you know? And have you found your final, you know, favorite genre? Like, or if you found one, do you think that that's it? Do you think, you found where you, or your, if it's not just one, maybe you have more than one. For all we know, you know? Yup. Don't forget to subscribe, yo. Wanna make sure you sign up so that you know when it's time for you to get your free merch. Feel me? Peace. I'm out.